Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Eric from the Universal Power Hour. Uh, I'm coming at you one more time. This is like my third video and um, I just wanted to sort of kind of talk to the men today. Uh, but first of all, as you can see, I'm out here in nature. Let me let you see, this is nature right here. Grass, green grass and just the feel. It was a bunny rabbit sitting behind me. I don't know if you guys can see it, the little bunny rabbit. Yes, my little friend right here. We come out and we have conversations every day, me and him. And, um, you know, so I'm learning to uh, communicate with the rabbits. <laughs> but anyway, um, listen, uh, I just wanted to come to you all today just to talk to the men a little bit. Okay. Uh, I got something for, for the ladies also, but this one right here is in particularly for the men and if the ladies could watching this if they could just listen carefully okay because I believe this will help you out with the men so look here it is um, and this sort of kind of sparked a conversation because uh, a good friend of mine a good friend sent me uh, a quote yesterday about men and how men have a lot on their shoulders you know and and sometimes, you know, with men, we do have a lot on our shoulders, you know, as well as the females, too. Not taking anything from the females, but I guess what I'm saying is that men bear the burden of, of a lot of things. And, and sometimes, you know, for men, the burden gets a little too hard to bear. No excuses, though. No excuses. And men have uh, decisions to make, hard decisions. And the thing is, is that for a man, for a man to be at his best for his family, for his, for his significant other, for his children, he needs to be at peace and at best with himself. So, what I'm saying to you is, a lot of times, men, we want to do so much. I'm not talking about no deadbeat guys, guys that just want to you know, use and abuse and stuff like that. I'm talking about good fellas, you know, real good men. You know what I'm saying? Men that are there for their families. Men that, you know, carry the load. Men that that want to do, you know, A, B, and C. A lot of times we want to do a lot of things for our family. And sometimes the fact that we can't as men, it crushes us. It puts more weight on our shoulders because we feel like we have to carry the load of our families because of you know the point of view that's been put in our heads that men are supposed to lead men are supposed to be you know the strong ones but then too a lot of times for men when we're going through something it's hard for other men sometimes to come to other men and, and tell them what they're going through because it's hard for them to be vulnerable. And when you can't be vulnerable, you know, it makes it absolutely impossible for you to be transparent about what's going on with you. And, <clears throat> and this goes for men um, in, in relationships also. You, you know, sometimes your, your significant other, they need to know, you know, well, look, I'm going through this. I'm going through that, that, and I feel this way, and I feel that way, you know, because that lets them know that you're willing to be vulnerable. You're willing to be vulnerable as a man and let your guards down and trust women with your feelings that they won't think less of you for not being as strong as you should be in any particular situation. You know, we have to learn to be comfortable with vulnerability, comfortable in our skin and drop all these notions and all these programs that we've been programmed with that men are supposed to be this and be that and, and, and do this and do that. No, first and foremost, you are a human being just like anybody else, just like uh, a female who is a human being. We have feelings, we have emotions. And if we're with somebody, if we can't feel totally vulnerable enough to trust them with our feelings and what we're going through and things like that, then, you know, the relationship isn't going to go too far because the communication is going to be cut short. And I have learned 
where the communication is cut short, then the, <laughs> the, the relationship is cut short because vulnerability is a thing that we as men, we have to get comfortable with. We don't have to bear all the burden. Of course, we want to be all this and all that. We want to be Superman for our family, you know? We want them to see us as brave, courageous, you know, with courage, fearless. And and if, if you know, if something needs to be done, we're going to go out and take care of it. We're going to go out and do it. But at the same time, sometimes life throws you, you know, hurdles and roadblocks. And as men, when we can't seem to get it done the way we want to get it done, we take on this incredible burden on ourselves, not knowing that our female counterparts who are who are with us, some of them, they're silently rooting us on. They're silently rubbing our backs and rubbing our heads saying, hey, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. But listen, don't get down on yourself. I'm here for you. I will help you. But we have to learn to be vulnerability, to be vulnerable, to really be as transparent as we can with our feelings because that is what they want. Women want us to be transparent, to communicate. They want to know that, wow, he really trusts me with his feelings. Wow. You know, but in turn, women, once we get up the courage to do that, you cannot, you cannot make us feel that we are less than for trusting you with our feelings, for being vulnerable for telling you our deepest thoughts and feelings, you know, you know, a lot of times I see with females, you know, they would, you know, some females, I'm not saying all, I'm saying some that I ran across, they would rather see us go out, you know, go out to a war riding on our white horse and die on our white horse fighting for them <laughs> rather than to stay back and be safe and be with their family where they can live to fight another day you know and the thing is is that you know as men we want to go out get up on our white horse and go out you know with our armory and our weapons and we want to go out and fight for our families and be there and go through any kind of war because good men, we would rather take the blunt of the hurt, the pain, the agony than to ever see our women and kids take it. But sometimes as men, life dishes us some, you know, harsh realities. And sometimes jobs may not be there, money may not be there. But good men, most good men, this falls on their shoulders, the burden, you know, they feel hurt, they feel pain, you know, because they want to be there for their families. They honestly want to be there. They want to do for their kids. They want to dispel the myth that no, men aren't there for their kids. They just want to play games and do this. No, I'm here to tell you, we as men, good men, we want to be there for our families and it crushes us when we don't have the money, the resources to figure it out in a certain time frame. You know, because we know you as women, you want security. You want security from your man. You know, that's that's what of course, you know, you're human also, you're grown, you know, you can provide for yourself, but if you're with someone, of course, you would like to know that, man, he's taking care of me. Things are taken care of. Well, that goes both ways, ladies. You need to take care of the man's emotions, too. When he comes with you with vulnerability, greet him with love, with respect with honor and let him know in no uncertain certain terms that you do not think less of him for coming to you for being vulnerable even if he sheds a tear or more what you tell him is this you say listen 
You don't know how much I appreciate you having the courage to come to me with your feelings. And I want you to know that no matter what you go through, I'm here for you. Whatever you need from me, I'm here for you. And you can trust me with your deepest feelings. But also, I want you to know that you were made in the image of God. The greatest, the king of all kings. You were made in his image. There's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing within your power that, you know, you can't. Uh, fix your mind to do so listen although I'm here for you to encourage you to be here to listen to support you I want you to get up from here fix your crown stand up put your robe on and go sit on your throne because I believe in you your kids believe in you you can do this you got this I'm with you all the way we're with you. That's what needs to be said to that man. That is what would spark a fire underneath him to go out and do more than he has ever done before to make it happen. Don't criticize him. Don't ridicule him. Don't make him feel that he isn't doing enough when he's trying to do all he can and you see the struggles that he's going through. Just be with him. Be understanding. Because if you do, he will run a thousand miles for you. He will run a thousand miles for you. Hey, I hope everybody got something out of this today. So look, this just came off the top of my dome, you know. I was just out here in nature, just, just this beautiful day. And I was just walking around. I just wanted just to say thank you. Thank you to the universe. Just, just show gratefulness, you know, just for being out here, just for being able just to have breath in my lungs, you know, my body, you know, my limbs are working. I'm able to, you know, speak and walk and jump no matter what it is. I'm able to do it. No matter what's going on in my life right now, lack of money, lack of whatever, I'm good and I'm grateful for any situation that comes my way. And we all should be. Hey, this is Eric from the Universal Power Hour. I hope you got something out of this. Show me your likes, subscribe, and keep walking this journey with me. And soon, I'm gonna tell you what I meant in my first uh, video by I Hit Rock Bottom. But you gotta keep up with me. You gotta stay with me. Cause I'm your man, 100 grand. All right? Hey, until we meet again, stay positive. Keep your energy up. Raise your frequencies so you can meet the frequency of the universe. And I'll meet you in the winner's circle. Until we meet again. Thanks for listening.